Hi all, this is Santiago Garay and welcome to your first tutorial about Skin Designer. Before going to the actual installation of the plugin in Grasshopper, uh, I'd like to give you a little bit of an overview about the tool and its capabilities. Uh, Skin Designer is a Grasshopper plugin that enables the rapid generation of facade geometries from building massing surfaces and repeating user-defined panels. And before uh, going to the actual overview of the tool, uh, it's important to note that Skin Designer is actually an open source project developed in uh, Python. So users are welcome to uh, look at the code on the components and uh, see what's going on under the hood if interested. So Skin Designer is divided in three main areas in its process. Uh, of mapping and creating facades. The initial one is uh, the generation of panel types and Skin Designer provides a number of components that allows the uh, users to generate any type of panel configuration. Also, there is a number of components that are in charge of mapping those panels designed throughout the surfaces. These surfaces could be in the Rhino scene or could be surfaces generated in Grasshopper. Lastly, there is the data section where is a number of components that use data from external sources or generated internally by these components to do a number of modifications on that facade solution. Those modifications could be on the location of the panels at different areas of the facade or actually could be modifying the panel properties as these panels are mapped in the surface. In these examples we can see how the facades could have a more typical panel systems as this louver system and, and cording wall system or uh, even more complex custom shaped panels as this, this one. Uh, data could come also from external sources such as Ladybug, allowing for uh, the generation with Skin Designer of performative facade solutions. So let's go ahead now and get Skin Designer installed. We can search us in Google for Skin Designer Grasshopper and it will send us right at the top. The first link will be to the Grasshopper 3D brand new uh, skin designer uh, group. Um, here you'll say all the inst installation instructions. So we can go ahead and assuming that you have already Rhino 5 and the latest Grasshopper installed. Um, Rhino 5 is the latest version of Rhino, the latest official version, and it has a, um, um, a 90 day evaluation um, download if you're interested. Uh, for Grasshopper, you can just go in the same Grasshopper 3D website at the top. You have the download link and instructions for um, Grasshopper. All right, so once you have that, the next step would be to have actually the GH Python component in Grasshopper. So as I said earlier, um, Skin Designer is using Python to, uh, it's developed and coded in Python, so it's, it relies on this component to work in Grasshopper. So we go to the Food for Rhino page of GH Python. If you don't have an account, you have to create one and log in. And, uh, and then once you log in, you'll see that download option here for the latest version of GH Python. And we open the folder uh, where downloads uh, is, the, the, that's where the file will be. And is that green file here and um, the the, uh, the idea is so you open Grasshopper if you don't have it already, and um, the installation is straightforward. Just drag and drop the GH Python component on the canvas. Because I already have the GH Python component installed, it's uh, giving me this warning. I will just skip here, but you will find immediately on the math uh, tab and the script section this component uh, added. And this is the component that is uh, Skin Designer using for its components, all right? So now we have that. We go back to our Grasshopper 3D website. And the, now we can go ahead and download the actual Skin Designer files. So this will take us again, again to the Foot for Rhino page. And again, we can click Download. 
we'll have an option to open that. In this case, will be a zip file with all the, the components inside. So we'll just go ahead and extract those files. Now here we have 35 skin designer components. And similarly to what we did with ChPython, we can just go ahead and drag and drop those files straight on the canvas. As you see here, we'll show up the new tab, a new tab here, new menu with uh, all the skin designer components ready to be used. All right, so the best thing to do now maybe would be to show you how to download an example and, and test it out. So the example files we're using this amazing website, the Hydra uh, website that allow us to search for our skin designer examples and actually go in and look at our um, uh, our components on the standard script as well as the output of that uh, uh, script. All right, so now we just go ahead and download here. We open that folder. Now we can extract these files. All right, so now back to to Rhino we open first the, the Rhino file provided and then in Grasshopper we're going to open that Grasshopper script all right so we got that in this case everything is ready to go so we just turn on this component the skin generator and that will result in this facade generated. Now, as you can see, there are some layers created here, and some of them have some materials in this sample file. But these are the ones that you can use um, to provide any any materials to what you want to the different elements of the facade. Um, one thing I recommend in the, the options here, display options on the shaded section here when it says color and material usage instead of objects color I would select render material and that will now reflect some of those material properties on your viewport which will be a, make it it will make it a lot easier to understand the different uh, components of the panels all right so we can just plug in another component here to see if it updates this doing a random version of this piece and you can see that's working. All right, so that looks good to, to me. So with that, we can just leave this um, tutorial as, as done and su only suggesting you guys to um, post in this new group any comments or questions you have about Skin Designer, about these sample files provided and the specific uh, issues you have, feel free to post them here as well as the and the Payet's uh, Skin Designer GitHub. Uh, look also for new tutorials and we will add a link to um, a Vimeo page as well as a YouTube page uh, for these new tutorials and I hope you um, can get uh, going with Skin Designer. Thank you.